Thank you all so much for joining us for our fifth Mozart Monday, and thank you to the First Baptist Church of Medford and Reverend Matt for making this concert mini-series possible. For those of you joining us for the first time, my name's Natalie Zemba. I'm the bassoonist with the Calliope Trio, and I'll be joined today with my fantastic colleagues, Wolfcott Humphrey on clarinet and Bennett Parsons on saxophone. And this week we will be playing Mozart's fourth divertimento along with his divertimento inspired from arias from his opera La Clemenza de Tito. Um, his divertimentos, as I talked about a little bit in my very first video, um, are historically a little bit of a mystery. They were written originally for three basset horns, which is similar to a clarinet except a little bit deeper and a little bit brighter, so kind of a hybrid of the three instruments we're playing on today. Um, and it is thought that the basset horn may have been Mozart's favorite instrument based on how much writing he did for the basset horn, and one particular basset horn player he was particularly fond of was Anton Stadler, and there's some, um, spect there's some thought that perhaps these trios were written just as a kind of fun project um, where Anton Stadler and his two basset horn playing friends would come over to Mozart's house and they'd play them in his living room. Interestingly, Anton Stadler also has his own set of basset horn trios, so I like to think that maybe these two um, musicians and composers were writing their trios simultaneously and every week they just had a sort of sharing competition between who wrote the better basset horn trio that week. I have no idea if that's true, I just made it up, but I think it fits the historical timeline fine. Um, anyway, the other uh, divertimento we'll be playing, which was arranged for Trio de Claron, as I mentioned, uh, is arrangements of arias from his opera La Clemenza de Tito, which is one of his um, Almost his last opera, he had written most of the Magic Flute, which is technically his last opera, and then this was sort of snuck right in the middle, right as that one was finished, because he received a commission for it. Um, and there's some speculation that he may have written it in as little as three weeks or eighteen days. And um, it's a but it's a gorgeous opera with um, beautiful arias, and it's still performed somewhat frequently today. Actually, the North American premiere of it happened in uh, Tanglewood. And um, so that's everything for this week. Um, please join us next week if you liked what we if you liked what you heard today. We'll be playing our very last uh, Mozart Monday, and we will be sharing. Um, arias from the Magic Flute and the final divertimento. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Happy Monday!
Thank you. 